uh, who was our power up front. When I came, uh, Odafa wasn't the star that he became. You know, when I just came in 2006, Odafa played in second division with Churchill and was okay and was three years in India before, played for Muhammadan as a stopper back, center back. Yeah. yeah. So, and I remember we, uh, with Odafa, uh, short story about Odafa because he was tremendous and uh, key for that team. When I came, the, the president uh, have told me that, look, we have this player, he's good, but it's your call. Uh, he seems lazy. When I co talked to, to the staff and the people that have worked with him, they told me the same. Coach, he's talented, but he, do, he doesn't come for training a lot and all that. And, uh, and I really remember the first contact with Odafa was we started about 10 days, the preseason. And then uh, Odafa came from Nigeria and uh, he came with his normal clothes to the training just to see and say hi first. And uh, because I know what was happening, uh, I wanted to send strong message. So my first contact was very bad, very, very bad. I mean, I didn't, the first words that I said to the player is, uh, this is not professional. You're coming late for preseason. Because I want to pass a message that what was happening before cannot be happening and uh, I told him uh, this is not professional you are late and you we will work on your fitness uh, so you cannot join the group now and I give the instruction to the to the assistant coach to take care of him with a special program obviously he wasn't happy and uh, I think he had complained to the chairman but the chairman said the coach is the boss he decided and we had about two weeks where we hardly talked to each other. But on purpose, it's my strategy. to Because I want first, I want the player to understand that there is only one way forward is to train regularly and work on your fitness and be present in every training session. There is no, no more... I train one or two days and then I rest three days and then I play the game. Uh, and of course, in the previous season, there was injuries and when you train like this, you, you will get injured. So we had about two weeks like that. I remember also there was once uh, during that time, our first friendly, I think, with army team. And uh, the bus was there. I think the partner was eight. All the players was there. To be honest, it was just eight, one minutes or something. It wasn't a big delay. And I asked the driver to go. Okay, we went to the, to the stadium of the army team. And then he came with the scooter later on uh, and apologized. So we spent about two to three weeks like this. Very tense, but I'm sticking on my position. This is how it goes. And I think later he... Number one, I think he started feeling good because he worked hard. And number two, uh, he had no choice because that time it wasn't the star. So after three weeks, when I felt that he got the point and he started being more jovial, more happy, talking to everybody. So I came uh, after a training session. I told him, hey, Lava, what are you going to have this afternoon? He said, oh, surprise, because I never talked like this, first time, after three weeks. He said, oh, coach, why? I said, uh, he said, nothing. I said, okay, let's meet in restaurant so-and-so for dinner. Mm. So we met for dinner, and I sit with him, and I explain to him that uh, it's not that I dislike him or I have a problem with him. It's just I'm being professional in my job. And this is what I expect from him. And, uh, and then uh, he, he, his response was very positive. And I tell you, after this good preseason, we played the first game against Sporting. I think we won 2-0. Odafa was fantastic. 
we destroyed them. And then the second game against Mahindra, and Mahindra was champion of the previous year. Yeah, and in, Mom team. in Mumbai, Surkumar yeah. Singh, uh, Bharat, all that. And and first half they 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 was one zero up half time. I changed the system and I we played very attacking aggressive four three three. And Odafa scored the goal and we could have won the game. So you have to understand this is Churchill that, that was in just in second division, starting with a bang, winning the first game, drawing against champion in their home ground. It's a big result. At the press conference, everybody is asking me, where did you get number nine? Mm. Odafa. <laughs> and I tell him, he's here before me. He's three years here. <laughs> so, and later on, I discussed when I discussed Odafa was uh, a player who was God gifted player, power, both feet, good dribbler, uh, good scorer. These are from God. I didn't give him that, but what I gave him is two things, two ingredients for success. Number one is fitness. So I pushed him to be fit. Number two is the way my philosophy and my style of, of play. Because I think if I was a very con uh, conservative coach, and if I play a 4-5-1, uh, low block, defending deep, and playing on counters, I don't think any striker would shine with a system like that. So... What I gave Odafa is basically uh, of my system and philosophy and style of play suit any striker. They will. In fact, second year of Churchill, we had Odafa and Boyo. Boyo, I brought him from Congo. He was in Yemen with me. And that season, top scorer is Odafa. Second top scorer is Mboyo. And, and not only that year, but all the years, uh, my teams was always one of the most attacking teams. And my strikers was always, always among the top three top strikers. So this yeah. is uh, how we started in uh, Churchill, and especially with a player like Odafa, who is an amazing player. And you had seen the career that he got and the impact that he got in Indian football. So, uh, why was he playing stopper back before? Just like you said, he was gifted in all these ways. I don't know. I'm just telling you that three <laughs> years, nobody's seen the talent and get the best out of it. <laughs>